What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. So if you aren't aware, uh, there is a particular team going around that we're just going to refer to as uh, that team. Uh, actually, let me let me pull it up, hold on, hold on. So, um, all right, I guess I'll just pull up the Victory Road page. So this team has won two regionals at this point, I believe, Salt Lake City and um, Liverpool. And this team consists of Zacian, uh, Groudon, Incineroar, Gastrodon, Charizard, and Grimmsnarl. It's a very strong team, and if you want to like learn more about it, there are a lot of people using it. I haven't used it yet personally; I just know about it. Uh, so the other day, I was like, okay, you know, I, I want to use uh, something that might have a niche versus that particular team because the way that the, that the meta changes and adapts uh, is that when something comes to power uh, people start using stuff to beat it or they start using that thing itself and I think Gyarados is actually a pretty strong contender for this role uh, here's why so looking at the team there's no electric moves whatsoever there's no electric mons and thunderous and regieleki despite like you know doing really well in this tournament uh, overall they're like not as popular as they used to be so you know, Gyarados intimidates these two guys, kind of walls out Groudon to an extent. Um, it's able to hit pretty much everything on the team for super effective damage, except for Grimmsnarl, because it does actually get access to Power Whip, which is a really funny thing. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to be running is an Expert Belt bulky Gyarados, um, and just trying to get some KOs, but... You know, I can't, I can't just stop there, I have to run something a little bit wackier. We're running a bulky Whiter Rayquaza. And the reason I'm doing that is because, uh, basically, with the sun up, I can't one-shot a Charizard. However, if I were to switch in my Rayquaza and turn on Airlock, all of a sudden, my Max Geyser is capable of one-shotting Charizard, so that's really heat. But yeah, uh, before we get into the team any further, if you guys enjoyed this video and I'm playing time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day, what Pokemon do you think does well versus, like, the best team in the format right now let me know but yeah uh obviously you know gyarados needs to run power up to beat gastron otherwise we get like hard walled um and as much as i'd like to run moxie for the boost you know uh i should run intimidate because it actually helps out a lot uh we have a bulky Zacian crowned uh behemoth blade play rough sacred sword protect uh we have the bulky rayquaza with sword stance earthquake dragon ascent extreme speed we have a magnet regieleki with a standard set uh, we've got my standard Safety Goggles Incineroar, and we're actually running a Focus Sash Amoongus, because if you haven't noticed, this team really, really, really hates Calyrex Ice, and I don't want to lose to that every single time we face it. So, by running Focus Sash Amoongus, we're pretty much guaranteed to sleep on that Pokemon, and then we can use the Zacian, or the Gyarados, or anything really. I think in that matchup, we literally have to go Zacian, uh, Zacian Gyarados, Incineroar, Amoongus, and just hope that we don't lose. <laughs> like, that's, that's one of the team's worst matchups, but... Uh, that's just how it is. Also, I have no idea how we beat Kieran White, but that's we'll get around to that when we get on, uh, when we get around to that. Uh, what's my ladder right now? 1360. Okay, so not not that high. Uh, but this is the testing account. I haven't played a single game with this team yet. We're just gonna hop right into it and see how it goes. Also, apologies if I'm a little bit congested. Uh, it's it's like the season that I start to get like really bad allergies, so uh, that's that's not fun. And also, what are we facing here? We're facing I haven't seen the Krasma Dawn Wings in years, honestly. Like, it's been like two years since that thing's been used. Um, oh, he knows. He knows. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this guy recognizes me. Okay. The Silky Baritone alt is well known at this point. Uh, I'm going to say we definitely have to bring in Cinnaro here. Uh, they're likely going to go for like some kind of uh, Max Guard Trick Room shenanigans. If you don't know, you can click Max Guard into Copycat with Liopard and get off the Trick Room that way. Amoongus is definitely required. I think we literally just do the lead that I just said we had to do. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to lead off Zacian and Cineroar, and I'm, I'm going to bring Gyarados Amoongus. Okay, yeah. So, am I a little bit concerned? Yes, because the Regieleki is present in this match. Um, I'm fairly certain... I should be able to... I want to get rid of Regieleki. I'm not really concerned about this thing yet. So I'm going to do this. I'm pretty sure they're just going to Dynamax it, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. Okay, and they're going to help again. Okay, this isn't fun. This is no longer fun. Max Special Offense Station? All right, no. I think we get the KO here. 
because they're life orbs. So this should go down. Oh, that didn't go down. Guys, that didn't go down. Okay, on the bright side, we should be fine to get rid of this guy and Rage Powder. Unless they're... Oh my god, if they're Charty Berry... Or not Charty Berry, if they're running um, Babiri Berry, it's going to be insane. Please go down. Okay, awesome. We get rid of that, and there is the, the thing that just beats us. Alright. So, unless it's Scarf, which I don't think it is, and it, even then, Scarf Darmanitan doesn't outspeed Regieleki. What we have to do here is Rage Powder once more. Yeah, and get in the Gyarados, because that gives us an Intimidate versus this guy. And we can Dynamax him next turn. Max Strike. Okay, that wasn't great. Okay. So this turn we should be able to protect. And I think I can get rid of him. <laughs> A little concerned he's about to protect here. Like this is this is the call. Like if I if I max airstream into this uh Darmanitan, I should win. But also I can't allow him to take the Gyarados, otherwise we lose. So I have to hope he doesn't protect, which it looks like he doesn't. Electroweb, that's fine. And it's going to come down to, oh man, can I beat this thing? I don't know. Uh, we're we're going to go for the Max Geyser onto this guy. I mean, we're pretty bulky. Unless it's Meteor Beam, like we don't lose, I think. Don't be Meteor Beam. These things are always Meteor Beam, by the way. Don't burn. Okay. Got my rain off. Trick room. Oh, he's got to be Meteor Beam. He's about to Meteor Beam all over me. He missed. No way. Okay, y'all take it. I'll take it. Whatever. I just got to live a hit. <laughs> oh, Gyarados. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the Gyarados just loves me more. Oh man, I, I feel bad about that. I, but I was, I was really just sitting there. I'm like, ah, uh, these things are always meteor beam. GG, well played. Okay, well we'll take that free win. Um, we'll take that like not not free. Obviously, we had to play for that, but we had to like play for a for a miss. So we'll, we'll take that for what it is. Um, and we haven't faced the team yet, which is interesting. I think what I do here. I haven't even thought about the Evol Dog matchup. I haven't seen Evol Dog in a minute. What do I want to do here? Uh, Regieleki looks disgusting, to be honest. We are running Magnet. And I am EV'd to naturally take a... Uh... Yeah, I'm EV'd to naturally take a Behemoth Blade from this guy. So I think what I'll do is I'll go Regieleki, Gerido, or Regieleki Rayquaza, Azacian, and Incineroar. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty cool with this. Um, I'm going to Dynamax my Eveltal. <laughs> my Evelta. I'm going to Dynamax my Regieleki. And I kind of want to attempt a Swords Dance here. Because that's going to make my Extreme Speed just devastating. And if he goes for Sucker Punch, like that'd be great. Yeah, because I, I would really love to be able to start Extreme Speeding things. And we're pretty bulky. I don't know if we actually take a hit from Regieleki, as they actually don't Dynamax here. That's in range of extreme speed, regardless of what happens this turn, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not, actually. Um, in fact, I actually kind of want to extreme speed their Regieleki now and hope that it's Magnet. And I'll max Lightning Eveltal. As they send in the Incineroar, that's fine. I should eat one more. Okay. Now, here's the issue. I, I am now slower than the Eveltal. So, I might actually end my Dynamax early here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Ending Dynamax early here is going to be the play. Uh, and I can just Extreme Speed into Regieleki to get a KO. And go Incineroar. <clears throat> okay. Get that Intimidate off. They actually go for a Protect. That's fine. Um, because I can actually get my Zacian in. Er, is Regieleki in range of Magnet Electroweb? It might be. 
but it's also probably going to be a speed tie. Is this worth it? I'm going to go for it. Go for the electro web. And because it's it's electric train boosted magnet electro web. I think I can do 25% to a Regieleki. It's just really risky. I'm going to fake out Zacian. Okay. Please KO. Okay, he wins the speed tie. But he's not going to win it anymore, and that's what matters. Here I just go for another Electro Web, and I actually just go for the Raw Flare Blitz onto their Zacian. Unless their Weakness Policy Eveltal, this should be fine. Alright, big damage, and now Eveltal is slow. It has to max Airstream. Goes to the play rough. Let's see if I take this hit. I'm pretty specially defensive. Okay. Uh, I think I lose now. Yeah, I have to Behemoth Blade their Zacian, and it's likely faster. I run a pretty I, ru I run a pretty bulky and slow Zacian on most of my teams, so pretty sure that's a loss. Ah, dang! I could have just Thunderbolted the Veltal, but I was thinking maybe they'd max guard this turn. And it's Life Orb, so I might actually not take a Max Darkness into another move. Oh, yo? Oh, yo, I win. Okay, no. Because, I, like I said, I'm very specially defensive, so they need a crit. Unless they have, like... Unless they have, like, Heat Wave, I, I, don't, I don't lose. No, I'm also just naturally faster. Yeah, GG. Actually, I guess I should have suspected that. Like, there's no way that I wasn't faster. <laughs> Okay, so we finally face the team, but this is a version of the team that has a Thunderous, which isn't great. Usually it's Grimmsnarl. Um, Gyarados is still like super, super useful, but I can't lead off with it the way I want to. Um, I think here... All right. I think here I go Rayquaza, Regieleki, and I bring the Gyarados in the back. Do I bring Zacian at all? I think I bring Incineroar. Charizard, Incineroar. Alright, I'll take that. Um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to Swords Dance, and I'm going to try to KO the Charizard with the Max Lightning. And if they fake out my Regieleki, I, I still don't lose if Groudon comes in. Yeah. They actually go for the parting shot on the Rayquaza. Still not the end of the world. Because I think I can just Swords Dance again. Because I'm just going to target the Charizard again. Yeah. And I'm going to Swords Dance. That's my strongest max lightning, right? 156? Yeah. That's fine. Because I just swords dance. Get that off. They go for the quake. They get the KO. Uh, that's fine. That should be fine, actually, yeah. Because I can get in my Gyarados. And... I'm going to attempt another Swords Dance. I'm going to get in my Incineroar. I actually could have gotten my Incineroar in this turn. That, that kind of sucked. That was dumb of me. They go for the Steel Spike and it does literally nothing. Dude, I'm going to Swords Dance a third time and again in the Gyarados. <laughs> this is... I'm, I, I will admit, I'm getting a little greedy here. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting I'm getting pretty greedy because there's probably like a Zashi. Oh no, there's no Zashi in the back. We know all the Pokemon. Huh? No, we don't. <laughs> Here's the rock fall. Oh, he crits me. Okay, yeah, I got a little greedy there. I got a little greedy there, and they, they got the they got the nasty crit. Uh that kind of sucks. Cause now I'm I'm in, I'm intimidated for like the rest of this game. That kind of sucks. Okay. 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 Alright, yeah. Send it send out the Charizard. Uh how do I do this? If I can get a nasty crit on them, I'd be pretty happy. I'm just gonna fake out and waterfall this thing, even though it's probably gonna go into the Incineroar. Yeah. 
Okay. Snarl. Waterfall. All right, Snarl protect because they're just going to, you know, fake out my Gyarados. Ah, man, that sucked. That, would, that actually would have been a really heat game. All right. I get my Snarl off. Uh, might still be able to do this depending on the Groudon. Or literally depending on a crit. Like, I have to get the crit that they got. All right, my play here is still going to be to Snarl since that KOs their Incineroar and I think I'm faster. I actually don't know if I'm faster. And I'm going to Waterfall them. They missed the Hurricane, which is great. All right, and this should get a double KO as they actually get out of there. Watch it be the Thunderous. No? Okay, Gastro. Or, yeah. They go into their Incineroar. I mean, why not? Let me get this flinch. P blades, yeah, nah, that's game. GG. Ah, that was really unfortunate. Like I was, I was probably gonna win had they not crit there. Cause just the the cycle with Incineroar and like Gyarados is able to shut it down so hard. As we're facing a pretty interesting team here. This is actually pretty cool. Um, once again, they have the option of going for like Max Guard, Copycat Trick Room. Uh, and we're probably going to have to use Amoongus here with the Focus Sash, obviously. That's going to be super useful. Um, well, you know what's funny? I could stop their Trick Room by spamming Fake Out. I think I want to lead Incineroar here. I actually... Do I want to bring Rayquaza? I think Rayquaza could be good. It's just like super, super iffy. I'll tell you what, even though like we already got two wins and we only have one loss, I'm gonna bring Rayquaza. <laughs> it's not always about winning. Sometimes it's about being funny, you know? We're gonna lead off uh, Rayquaza plus Zacian. And I'm gonna bring, I think I have to bring Gyarados and Amoongus. So no Incineroar this game. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're just going to follow me. In this situation, I definitely want to go Gyarados. And attempt to KO. They're White Herb. A little bit annoying. Live that. Okay. Um, I am Focus Ash Amoongus. So I think what I do here is I go Amoongus. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna make a play. I definitely think they want to go for um Max Quake into my Zacian. This is super risky. I don't think they go for the Oh, they actually just they just go for it. Okay. That that wasn't great. Okay, that didn't work. Alright. Uh let's just do it. Let's just let's just go for the KO. Yeah, I think here I have to Dynamax because they could just Dynamax themselves and then be like immune. Uh, or I mean, I guess I could protect here and go for the KO. All right, they don't Dynamax. That's great. Yeah, I really thought they were gonna try to KO the Zosh in there because. You know, it seemed kind of free. All right. And now I can put this thing to sleep. No, I can't. No, I can't put it to sleep. I'm a silly goose. Go for the guys who are under you. I need to get rid of that Torkoal. So they Dynamax. They go for the Eruption. Dang, I got bodied this game. But I actually do get a KO. Actually, wait, this, is, this might be doable. I did get a KO there. I guess I crit, yeah. Did I? Max Geyser? No, no, it's just the power of being built different. I mean, this thing's slower than me. I'm pretty sure this thing, yeah, base, it got, it's got minimum 30 speed. I've got minimum 31. Uh, it comes down to if they remembered to put their IVs all the way down. Um, is my play here to max guard? 
probably. I mean, they're just gonna KO me. Yeah, why not? Let's let's just roll the dice. Yep, good game. <laughs> good game. All right, all right. Next time we face the Calyrex Ice, we're not gonna be dumb. We're not gonna be dumb. We're gonna bring the the mandatory Incineroar. And this is the other matchup that I said I don't know how I beat. Can we face more Sun today, please? I built a team for a Sun team. Can I please can I please face Sun? Don't you hate it? Don't you hate it when you're playing the game and you don't get the matchup you want? Dang, I hate Pokemon. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, I mean, what is their answer to Zacian? I guess they're going for like Driftblim Seed Tailwind, but that's pretty easy to play around. And Sasha Moongus looks really annoying for them. Okay. I think here, since they have to lead off with Indini to get any use out of Driftblim, I can go Regieleki. And Zacian, Amoongus, Incineroar. Okay. I mean, I'm actually pretty cool with that. Uh, let me go for the... I definitely want to get rid of Indeedee early. But I can't switch anything into this. Okay, I have an idea. But it's super, super risky. I'm gonna go for the Electroweb. No. I think I have to Dynamax Regieleki and just roll the dice here. Nah, nah, that's risky. Get Electroweb first. They follow me. Really hoping they just Max Quake the Zacian. They Max Wormwind the Regieleki. That's crazy. That's insane. You're crazy, dude. Okay. Um, how do I do this now? I kind of need to give up the Zacian. We're going to go for a Spore on this guy. And I suppose a Behemoth Blade onto him. But, like... <laughs> like like I said, like we're, we're going to get Follow Mead here. Like, like it's We're just going to end up Sporing the Indeedee if he ends up, you know protecting this this curum and follow me in for some reason i don't know what am i saying what i'm saying is that we're likely not going to get the spore off like i'm thinking he might just expanding force like calling the sash no okay hailstorm okay no i think i think we win now because i get the spore off and now i get an intimidate really hoping to go into zashi in here that'd be great they go Drift Blim. Uh, I won't complain, actually. I have to Dynamax an Incineroar, which isn't a great feeling. <laughs> that isn't a good thing to, to have. Uh, we're going to go for the Snarl here. And the Behemoth Blade into the Kyurem. They go for the Will-O-Wisp. I figured they would at least have that. <clears throat> Damage is cut pretty bad now. Uh, and at this point, it's probably in my best interest to Dynamax this Incineroar and get set up for the end game. I'm going to max Flare, the Drifblim, even though Max Darkness does more technically, and the reason I'm doing that is because uh, I don't want Zashin to have the option to, like, protect. <laughs> you know? I, I want the sun to be up. I want to do maximum damage, and I also want to make sure I'm not taking Hail Chip damage for the rest of the game, because that might matter. They could also wake up here and Earth Power me, which would not be a good thing. See if they wake up. They do not. Awesome. Drifman probably survives this, but uh, now there's Ashians in trouble. Awesome. Okay. We got out of that. <laughs> we got out of that with our lives. Let's do like two more. I think I got time for two more. <coughs> oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen a town flame in a long time. So. Huh. I mean, I could see Rayquaza doing pretty okay in this game. I could definitely see that. I think what I want to do is go Rayquaza Regieleki. I kind of want to bring the Gyarados. Gyarados actually does much better into Kyogre than Incineroar does, but I have to be careful with the Regieleki. 
Oh, and I think my last mod has to be Zacian. Okay. So, I'm actually pretty, pretty cool with this. Um, dang, I might go for the KO on the Zacian with the Max Quake right now. I just might do that. Yeah, because I think they want to get rid of Regieleki. Because they have to be really scared of that. I'm also EV'd to naturally take the hit. So, why not? You know? They're just going to Tailwind anyways. They go for the Play Rough. That's fine. I actually... Oh, I don't get rid of it. Oh, that's not good. That's no bueno. Uh, at the very least, it's within max Airstream range. So, that's pretty okay. Um, and... I knew I should have invested more attack onto this guy. I suppose we just waterfall. <coughs> All right. Let's see if we can like crit this. <laughs> no, no crit. Okay. Kyogre comes out. Um, I have a special defense boost. I don't think I take the Ice Beam, though. So that's not great. Let me think. Hmm. I mean, I know for a fact they're just... Are they gonna, though? I kind of think they might just attack the Rayquaza, expecting me to want to save the Gyarados. Whatever, let's go for it. No, okay. Yep, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Was that Life Orb? Technically, this is an out. <laughs> a double protect would not be an unwinnable out. Actually, no, because there is a there is a freaking Talon Flame in the back. Okay, good game. Good game. All right. Let's do one more. I think at this point we're like even. I think we're like three and three. So, you know, the team testing has not been a complete waste. We haven't completely lost. Uh, let's see if we can go positive. <coughs> okay. So we're facing um, a Lugia team. And Lugia always does the same thing. It's just like weakness policy. Uh, but also, sometimes they'll give the Raichu like fling plus a berry. Which I think is really lame. Personally, um, yeah, Amoongus could be really annoying for our opponent here if I just lead off with it and put the thing to sleep. Because typically, they, if, if you're facing like a Lugia player, like nine times out of ten, they're just going to lead off with it and not think about it. And I will also go with. I think it was Zacian on lead. Gyarados also isn't too bad just to bait them into attacking it with like an electric move, so that way they don't double the Amoongus. I think I'll go Gyarados, uh, and we'll bring the Zacian in the back, and Regieleki. <coughs> yep, there it is. Okay, so like I said, there's a good chance they're just going to try to KO the Amoongus. Uh, here I'll Protect. I'm really hoping they don't fake out the Amoongus. That'd be annoying. Okay, they faked out the Amoongus. Okay, okay, okay. They thought about it. We faced, like, the only... We faced the only Lugia player that thinks about their play. <laughs> okay. Uh, Like I said, it's probably just going to go for, like, weakness policy stuff. So what I could actually do here is I could Rage Powder. And I'd like to take that Raichu, even though it's probably going to be like Focus Sash. Okay, that's fine. As long as the Raichu doesn't have a speed boost, I'm pretty content with this. But now I kind of wish I, I Airstreamed. They're thinking, though. 
All right, there's the Kyogre. Probably just Nair Stream again. Yep. This is a decent chunk there. Um, like I said, they're usually weakness policies, so this is something I have to be kind of careful about. I think my play here is going to be to actually protect and airstream the Lugia. <coughs> I have enough special defense where I should take a Thunder from Kyogre if they go for that. The Quake, I live it. Alright, and that's the end of their Dynamax, which is really, really awesome. Uh, here I am going to... I think I'm actually going to Volt Switch on the Kyogre. I mean, they could bring in the Raichu again. Or maybe, you know what, no, no, no. I'm an Electro, but I'm going to max Geyser, because that should always just remove Lugia from play. And they're just going to get rid of my Regieleki. Yep. Oh, that did not remove it from play. Hello? I'm scared. All right, uh, it still outsped me, which is really concerning. <laughs> I'm going to go for the Protect and the Waterfall. Wow, I did not expect that to live the hit in the rain. Earth power. Let's see if they thunder. No, the origin pulse, so I guess no thunder. I'm trying to think what their last Pokemon is. It might be Incineroar. Zacian has a lot of special defense, so I'm pretty confident it can take an Origin Pulse. And we're also guaranteed faster than the Raichu since I hit 180 speed. They just, they're thinking. Okay, out comes the Raichu. Um, in this situation, <clears throat> I always uh, actually just target the, the Kyogre here. Because yeah, I need to get rid of it. Uh, and I can attempt to Waterfall on the Raichu. One of these things is about to get faked out. But I don't think I ever lose the Gyarados, considering the last Origin Pulse did 35%. As they are faster than me. How? What's my speed stat? How was I slower there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's just no way. There's just no way we're facing Scarf Fake Out Raichu. There's literally no way. What? No, wait. Am I dumb? No, we're not. Okay, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not dumb. I'm just bad at math. Right? 113 has one point. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. We're, not, we're not facing Scarf. Fake out, right? I'm just a little dumb. I'm just a little dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I, sometimes, sometimes I'm a little dumb and I forget how to do math. All right, Sacred Sword is safer. Okay, yeah, we win. Oh my god, that scared me so much. Unless they're, like, faint. <laughs> Unless they're, like, faint, you know, like... <laughs> oh, that scared the hell out of me. I was like, there's no way. And then I, like, realized, like, oh wait, hold on. I'm not at plus two, I'm at plus 1.5, you know. like. My apologies. I recorded this very early morning. Like, I have classes in, like, two hours, so... <laughs> That's just how it is. I mean, we, we technically went positive. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say my thoughts on what I built here is it's not irredeemably bad. Uh, but it has it has room for improvement, obviously. You know, like we can probably do better here. Um, managed to pick up a win versus Calyrex Ice. Uh, got crit versus the Sun team, which wasn't great. I think we definitely had that one in the bag. That's like we literally counter team for that. But that's just how it is, you know. 
Uh, I'm not too upset with this. I think I could make this into a playable team. I definitely think I could get, get this going, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you thought about this testing session. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.